In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your cinematic footage directly on your Mac using Final Cut Pro or iMovie. And I'm going to show you the very, very important settings you need to use before you send the files to your Mac. So let's jump into it. Hey there, welcome to the video. So did you know if you record any cinematic footage using your iPhone 13 or iPhone 13 Pro, just like in the app where you can adjust your uh, f-stop or the blurriness in the background, you can now do this within Final Cut Pro or iMovie. But there are a couple of things that you need to do to enable this. Now you can see here, I've got a, a cinematic shot that I've taken here on the iPhone 13 Pro and as you can see, this is a cinematic shot and it kind of mirrors what I did in the edit on the iPhone 13 Pro, but there's no options here at all to adjust this. I can't um, adjust the focus. I can't make Lewis in focus or myself in focus. I've only got the kind of exported video file. So what do you need to do first to ensure that you can enable this cinematic editing feature within Final Cut Pro or iMovie? Let me jump onto the iPhone and I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can get your cinematic footage onto your Mac. Now the best way is probably using a cable, but for this example, I'm gonna show you AirDrop because that's what I tend to use a lot and I know a lot of you use AirDrop too. So this is a cinematic shot that we used for a previous iPhone video and you can see that there. And what you would normally try and do obviously is you would press the share button and you would AirDrop it to your Mac. But what you need to do to enable the cinematic editing functions is press your AirDrop and at the top here, you can see where it says options. You need to press that and then where it says uh, include location data, you can have that on or off, that doesn't matter, but you need to have all photos data turned on and that will enable you to kind of save the cinematic data that the iPhone's captured. So press done and then you can airdrop it over to your MacBook Pro. So that's now coming over here to the MacBook Pro. Okay, so now when you go to your downloads, what you'll find is you actually have a folder. It doesn't just send one video file like you might be used to. It will actually send a folder of two videos. Now, I found the one that works the best is the one without the E in it. So you can see here I've got IMG underscore 6124 and then IMG underscore E 6124. I've, I've found so far that the one without the E works best. So you can now import this into Final Cut Pro. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is if you drag this onto your timeline, your footage is gonna be blown out. And I know a lot of people are freaked out by this. Now, how you can get around this is if you go to effects here on the right hand side, drag HDR tools onto your clip, which you can turn the volume down. And then when you're within HDR tools, change the mode from HDR to HLG to Rec 709 and you'll see the footage looks much better there. It looks more like what you would have filmed. Now to enable cinematic mode, simply scroll down to this section here, tick cinematic, and then you will get the option here to change the depth of field. So you can see uh, Lewis in the background there in the police cars. If I change to F2, it's really out of focus. If I change it all the way up, uh, it's in focus. So then what you can do, if you wanna change the, the person who's in focus, so you can see here, my face is in focus. If I wanna make Lewis the person who's in focus, if I click the uh, transform button here and just get the drop down, and you'll see you have a new option here called cinematic. Tick that cinematic and you will get the view that you get on your iPhone, which is these kind of little colored boxes here. It will try and detect scenes, so you can see as I hover around Lewis, you can see it's detected his body there and also his face. On me, you can see it's done the same thing. Other than that, it hasn't really detected any other subjects. But all you need to do now is just click on the person that you want to be in focus. And you can see that there, if I press space, Lewis is in focus. If I tap, I can make myself in focus. Now, like any other element within um, Final Cut Pro, you can keyframe it. So let's just say I want myself to be in focus up to there. And when I turn, I can add a new keyframe and then make Lewis in focus there. So let's do that again. So I'm in, let's add a new keyframe here. I'm in focus. And then when I turn to face Lewis, you can see that keyframe there has changed him to being in focus. Now I think if you right click here, you can click and see show cinematic editor. And just like the iPhone, that will show you your keyframes there 
for you to be able to move these around, edit who's in focus and all that kind of stuff. So that's how you do it within Final Cut. Now let's jump into iMovie and I'll show you how it's done there. Okay, so we've opened up iMovie and it's actually a little bit simpler in iMovie. So iMovie doesn't do uh, the kind of HDR stuff that Final Cut does. So when you open up your cinematic footage, you'll find you won't have to apply any look or light. Your footage will actually look uh, just how it did straight out of your iPhone. So if you're kind of new to video editing and you're just creating your first kind of YouTube content, iMovie could be a great start for you because it's actually a really good video editor and it has less of the kind of faff that Final Cut has. If you, you know, if, you're not, if you don't want to be a pro editor, if you just want to get videos out for your personal brand or your business, could be the way to go. So we're gonna, uh, we've dragged this clip, the same clip onto the timeline. All you need to do is select the clip. So at the top here, you'll now see you have this cinematic icon. Simply tap that and you'll now have this box that appears underneath that says depth of field. Now to adjust the depth of field or the person who's in and out of focus, simply click this little box here and you'll see we now get the same options as Final Cut Pro. And so if I wanna make everything uh, less in focus in the background, you drag the F-stop up and it acts like a real camera or you can drag it down. And that's how you do it within iMovie. So I hope this video has helped. I know a lot of people have been freaking out, one for you know not being able to adjust the cinematic footage and thinking that they're kind of stuck with it or you have to edit on the iPhone, or they're pulling it into Final Cut and it's all blown out and they're just adjusting the color, which you shouldn't do. You need to do that uh, HDR clips and drag that on. So I hope that's helped. If it has, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.